Hey everybody, how's it going? I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but uh, this is something I thought was really cool. The, this is I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, blur shader inside of real-time Blender viewport here. So you can see it doesn't even matter what picture I have or anything, but I just changed the factor here, and it will blur the texture. I can do it with any kind of vector. This is from the camera here, and it'll blur it as well. It's extremely easy to make, and um, it's so practical. I've had a lot of needs for this, and I haven't actually discovered how to do this until now. So, let's jump into an empty scene here. I have just a basic picture there. Let me turn on transparent there. Oh, it's... Oh, great, it crashed. Oh, the other one crashed. The other blender crashed. Okay. Phew. So, let's just uh, let's jump into the node editor here, in which I have a material set up, just a simple diffuse shader. And uh, let's start out by adding a noise texture. Let's add that, and let's just hit Control g to put it into a group right away. Let's cut those inputs and delete the inputs on the beginning of this group here, just by hitting the X. And the same thing for the outputs. There we go. Cool, now what we're going to do is we're going to set the scale for this noise texture to 100,000. Just like that, and then the detail down to zero. Now, we're going to feed the color into a mix RGB. This right here is going to go into the bottom slot, color 2. Color 1 is going to be completely black. Now we're going to have the first input here from our group output go into the factor. This is going to be the blur factor. And now we're going to take a converter, vector math, vector math, the color inside of the vector, which I know is really weird, but it works. And then we're going to take the second group input and plug that into the vector as well. Now let's duplicate that, set this to subtract, put the add vector into the subtract vector, put the subtract vector output into the group output. Alrighty, now we just have one more node to add. We're just going to duplicate the mix color node. We're going to set the top as black and the bottom as white. And we're going to drag the factor as well into that factor. And then drag this into your vector. Alrighty, now for color 2 here, I found that a white value of 0.7 is about where it needs to be. So uh, just set your white to 0.7. And then um, your black should be completely black. And that's literally all it is. So now we have this blur shader, and I'm just going to label it. I'm going to label it blur. There as well. Alrighty, and now we just add in a texture coordinates. Drag in UV to the blur. And then that to the picture. And now when I change the blur, this blur value it increases in blurriness. It's that easy. Now, um, just to let you guys know what this bottom white value does, is this is the offset of the blurred picture. So if I increase this, you can see how the blurred picture changes. You can see how it moves like that. So set it to a value that's going to keep your picture, with, it's, it's going to keep the position of your picture on your plane. So what I, did, what I did is I just set it all the way up and then I just changed this to where I it looks like it's supposed to be about there. That's what it looks like for me. And you can see that it doesn't really uh, it doesn't move much. It doesn't really matter what picture I choose either. I can add in another picture here. Why don't we choose this scary head of mine that I made? This is this is a terrible head, guys. But there we go. And now I'll just add in uh, the blur along with the texture coordinates. There we go, and it blurs it. Just like that. A real-time blur node for for uh, for Blender. So, I guess that's it. Comment down below if you have any questions or if I didn't go over anything. I know this was a really short tutorial, but I mean, it, it's really helpful. So, short and sweet, but yeah, let me know what else you guys want me to do a tutorial on. I've got another one coming on how to make a realistic cartoon shader. So that should be fun. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.
Bye.